everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. It's time for a Lakers update. The season has ended and oh my gosh, the last game of the season was heartbreaking, but we'll get to that a little bit later. I've got some updates for you. Let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about is Brandon Ingram. I do have some updates on Brandon Ingram's recovery. Back in March, Brandon Ingram started feeling a pain in his armpit. He said it was kind of like a pinching feeling, but it just would never go away. He was even concerned that by complaining about such a small pain that his coach Luke Walton was going to razz him about it because it was such a small thing. But it is a good thing he said something about it because it was a blood clot which was found by the medical team and it was a much bigger deal than originally anticipated. In early March, the medical team revealed that he had a deep venous thrombosis. Upon learning this, Brennan was really concerned because as you all know, I've talked about in a previous video, Chris Bosch recently had to retire because of a blood clot situation as well. Fortunately for Brandon Ingram, it appears that this is going to be a one-time incident, that they got the blood clot. Hopefully everything will be okay. He has been recovering since the surgery, and he says he's actually having a really hard time because he's having to sit and rest, and he can't play basketball like he used to be able to there for a while. He was playing basketball eight hours a day at a minimum. And so laying around on the couch has been really, really hard for him, but he said that he is getting used to it, and he is making sure to take it easy because he definitely wants to get better. A few days after his diagnosis, Brandon Ingram found himself at the Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center undergoing surgery. He underwent a thoracic outlet decompression surgery, which is a procedure that involves removing part of the rib in order to remove the blood clot. Like I said, it does appear that he's going to be okay. He has been resting and recovering, and hopefully he will be able to return at the beginning of the next season. My next big update is regarding Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson has served as the president for the Lakers for more than two years, and he abruptly resigned the other day. Magic indicated that it's just not fun for him anymore for a number of reasons. First of all, he likes to be able to post comments on social media about other players on other teams, and anytime he does that as the president for the Lakers, he gets fined by the NBA. He's tired of that. He really wants to be able to communicate and be friends with all of the other people in the community, and he's very, very limited in the presidential position for the Lakers. The other primary reason that he stepped down, especially so abruptly, is because after the last game of the season, they were requesting that he terminate Luke Walton as the head coach. Apparently, Luke Walton has refused to bring on some assistants and some other coaches to help with the coaching staff. Because of that, some of the managing members have decided that they think that it's time for him to go, and they were wanting Magic Johnson to be the one to deliver the news. Magic indicated that he has been friends with Luke, his wife, and his family for many, many years, and that was just something that he couldn't do and wasn't willing to do. So instead, he decided to resign and step down. This has been a shock to the community, a shock to all of the Lakers fans, and Magic Johnson was the one solid sounding board that we felt like we had. He was one of the primary reasons that we ended up getting LeBron James, and I was hopeful that he was going to be helpful in getting us another big player this season. But I know that Magic Johnson has to do what's best for him and what he feels is best for the team, and hopefully that is what he has done. Moving on, let's talk about the last game of the season. The Lakers played the Trailblazers, and they played so well, they actually kept up throughout the game, and at the buzzer, they lost. It was very unfortunate. Crusoe seemed to be one of the reasons that they were doing so well, and that they were holding it together. He had made great baskets, great plays. He kept being congratulated, and at the end, within the final quarter, it just seemed to be basket for basket with the Trailblazers, which was great for the Lakers. Unfortunately, only seconds before the buzzer, Caruso had the ball, the Trailblazers stole the ball from him, and they ended up scoring and winning the game literally at the buzzer. It was heartbreaking. It was so sad to watch because Caruso had played such an amazing game, and then it was heartbreak at the last minute. 
Now that the season has ended, the Lakers have been speaking out about how they feel about the season and how it went, what they were hoping for. Of course, all of them were hoping to make it into the playoffs, so that is devastating to each and every one of them. But a lot of the young players that were in interviewed indicated that this has been a wonderful learning season for them. They feel like they've come a long way and they are really, really hopeful that next season will be wonderful and that they will make it into the playoffs. Of course, that's my hope as well. I was hopeful for that this season when they brought in LeBron James, but it was clear that the young players really needed a lot of guidance, which he's been able to provide to them. The Lakers were riddled with injuries this season, which just made it absolutely impossible for them to win enough games to make it into the playoffs. They had so many injuries and illnesses that kept players out for multiple games. Brandon Ingram was out for 29 games because of this blood clot incident. And of course we know that um, LeBron was out for multiple games. Lonzo Ball was out for multiple games. Kyle Kuzma was out for multiple games. Josh Hart has been out. Tyson Chandler has been out. There have been so many injuries. And then when JaVale McGee as well was so sick and out for a number of games because of pneumonia, that just put them over the top. So. We are hopeful that next season the Lakers are going to be able to come together. They now have months to work together and practice. I'm still going to continue to keep you updated with any new news and updates on the Lakers, but now we are heading into the playoffs. So as we start moving into the playoffs, I'll be updating you about all of the other teams that did make it into the playoffs and how they're doing and where we're at. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed these updates. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. 